Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, parallax slideshow animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here I have already imported my image for this demonstration, so without any wait let's start creating our slideshow. Create a new composition. Name it as slide 1. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Now set the time duration to 2 seconds. Now let's add media file, here you can use an image or video file. Now let's pre-compose the media file. Name it as media. Perfect. Now for media composition, press S to bring up the scale. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for scale. Now go at end of the timeline. Now increase scale value to near about 120%. Perfect. Now create a duplicate of media composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now select the pen tool. Now draw mask as shown. Now for created mask, change mask mode to subtract. Now for media composition, press P to bring up the position. Now create a keyframe for position. Now go to end of the timeline. Now change position value for the Y axis to near about 500. You can see the preview. Now again create duplicate of media composition. Now for created duplicate, adjust the mask path as shown. Perfect. Now press P to bring up the position. Now go at end of the timeline. Change position value for the Y axis to near about 560. Now again create a duplicate of media composition. Now for created duplicate, adjust the mask path as shown. Now press P to bring up the position. Now go at end of the timeline. Change position value for Y axis to near about 500. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here you are free to change the mask shape, size, direction, to make your slideshow unique and attractive. Now select all composition. Pre-compose them. Name it as animate. Now 
Now select the rectangle tool. Now draw shape as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to shape layer 1. Now for shape layer, change fill to solid color. And change stroke to none. Now change fill color. Now in effects and preset, search for box blur. Add box blur to shape layer 1. Now change blur radius to near about 250. Change iteration to 4. Let's slightly reduce blur radius to near about 200. Now for shape layer 1, press T to bring up the opacity. Now create a keyframe for opacity. Change opacity value to 0%. Now go at end of the timeline. Now change opacity value to 75%. Now select the rectangle tool. Now draw shape as shown. Now add box blur to shape layer 2. Now change iteration to 5. Now change blur radius to near about 170. Now press T to bring up the opacity. Now come back to start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for opacity. Change opacity value to 0%. Now go at end of the timeline. Change opacity value to 75%. Perfect. Now let's create lines for our slideshow. Now select pen tool. Now draw shape layer as shown. Now change fill to none. Change stroke to solid color. If you hide the mask path, you can see our white line shape. Now for shape layer 3, press R to bring up the rotation. Now come back to start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for rotation. Now go at end of the timeline. Change rotation to 15 degrees. Now press T to bring up the opacity. At the end of the timeline, create a keyframe for opacity. Now come back to start of the timeline. Change opacity value to zero. You can position the shape layer wherever you want. You can also increase the scale for shape layer. Now let's change the stroke color to black. Perfect. Now let's create a duplicate of shape layer 3. Now let's change the position of shape layer 4. Now let's slightly adjust the scale. Now press R to bring up the rotation. Now let's change rotation value. Here you can set rotation value according to your choice. Now create a duplicate of shape layer 4. Now let's change the position of shape layer 5. Now let's change stroke color to white. Now press R to bring up the rotation. Now let's change rotation value. Here you can set rotation value according to your choice.
Now let's slightly adjust the scale. Now select shape layer 3, 4 and 5. Pre-compose them. Name it as line. Now for line composition. Press T to bring up the opacity. Now change the opacity to near about 55%. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can create more slides and create your slideshow. Here our Parallax slideshow animation tutorial is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.